Adventures, it is Pastor Lyle Notice here again. It's Sabbath morning, and I just want to welcome you again to Adventure Family Camp 2020. Now, I know you had an amazing time yesterday night, but we have an amazing, amazing program planned for you today. And so, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Soon we are going to 
see the King Soon and very soon We are going to see the King Hallelujah, hallelujah We are going to see the King No more crying there We are going to see the King No more crying there We are going to see the King King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. Adventure pledge is, because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. It is now time for special music. And so sit back, relax, and enjoy this special music. Trust in Him. We have a 
Club of Edmonton, Filipino Seventh-day Adventist Church will be reading Psalms 91, verse 1 to 16, NIV version. Verse 1, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, verse 2, two. I will say, yes, I will say of, the Lord, of the Lord, He is my refuge. And my fortress, and my fortress, my God, my God, in whom uh -huh. I trust. I trust. Verse three. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Verse four. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Verse 5. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Verse 6. Nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Verse 7, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Verse 8, Verse eight. you'll only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of, your, of the wicked. Verse 9, if you say the Lord is my refuge and you may love. Most high, your dwell, dwelling. Come, whoever can you, 
Or he will command his angels to earn you to guard you and all your They will lift you up in your hands so that you will not strike your foot against your Verse 13. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample on the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. Verse 15, he will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver and honor him. Verse 16, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my, sal my salvation. Um, hello and happy Sabbath, everybody. My name is Trinity, and I will be doing the prayers for today. So I'd like to say prayer position. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for keeping us alive during this pandemic. God, I pray for all the adventure kids and adventure teachers for this day. Thank you for helping the adventure teachers let this day happen, even though we can't be together physically. I hope this adventure day uh, succeeds so we can all be happy that we've done a great job and we've had confidence in ourselves. God, you've been so good to us. We want to say thank you to you for being there and supporting us even though times are hard. I pray for the program so the program can be good and everybody can be happy. I pray for the people that are sick and that need help. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Adventures, it's time again, the time you've all been waiting for. It is time for our speaker, Pastor Neil Peralta. If you enjoyed him yesterday, you're gonna enjoy him even more today. And he's got a special lesson, a special message through his puppets. And so sit back and enjoy this story through puppetry. Oh, welcome everyone. We've arrived at the puppet stage. For our children's church today, we have Ed and Lee telling us a wonderful and amazing story about being brave and listening to God no matter what. So let's see what Ed and Lee have to tell us today. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. Welcome to Children's Church. My name is Ed, and right now, let us sing, Life Without Jesus is Like a Donut. <clears throat> Life without Jesus is like a donut. Excuse me, wait. Oh, hey Lee, how are you? You were singing without me. Let's sing together, okay? Okay, let's do that again. <clears throat> Go ahead, Lee. Okay. <clears throat> Life without Jesus is like a donut. Is like a donut. Is like a donut. Life without Jesus is like a donut. There's a hole in the middle of your heart. Wow, good job, Ed. Good job. What are we doing today? Well, I thought I would tell a story about our three brave friends. Oh, yes. Sadrach, Meshach, and a billy goat. Um, excuse me? Yeah, a billy goat. No, 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 no. 
Abednego. Oh, yeah, Abednego. Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. Now, who do you want to be? Well, I think I could play all three. Oh, and I get to be King Nebuchadnezzar? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, one day, King Nebuchadnezzar was sitting on his throne, and he said to his servants, I think the people should worship me more. Oh, how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to write a royal decree, and I want a golden statue. Oh, okay, you want a golden statue? Yes, so tell the people about my royal decree. Okay, will do. <clears throat> what should your royal decree say? <clears throat> well, it should say that everyone should come and worship me at 12 noon and bow down to my statue. You want me to tell them that? Yes, gather the people. Okay. <clears throat> people, people, people. King Nebuchadnezzar has an announcement. The announcement is, we shall worship him even more. Yes, that is true. And, of course, the way we will worship him is at 12 noon each day, we will bow down to the golden statue that will be made really, really quick. Yes, really, really quick. Now, of course, there were three good friends among the crowd. Shadrach, Meshach, and... Not a billy goat, remember, not a billy goat. Oh yes, not a billy goat, but a bendigo. And they talked to each other. Oh man, what are we going to do? Well, should we bow down at 12 noon each day and, and worship King Nebuchadnezzar? Well, I don't know, Meshach, I don't think that's correct. Oh, well, what do you think, Shadrach? And of course, Shadrach said no, and also, Abednego said no. No, we shouldn't. We should only bow down and worship the one true God. Okay, so what should we do? Well, we'll attend the meeting, but we will not bow down. Okay. So then, the very next day, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went as they were told. <clears throat> they gathered with the people, and of course, the servant announced it again. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. At the strike of 12 noon, when the trumpets blow, oh yes, I forgot about the trumpets, we shall bow down and worship King Nebuchadnezzar. But then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego could not do it. So then they watched as everyone else bowed down at the sound of the trumpet. And of course, everyone else bowed their heads. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not. So they were summoned by King Nebuchadnezzar. <clears throat> Why are you not bowing to me and my golden statue? Well, we're sorry, King, but we cannot bow down to you and your Golden statue? No, we cannot. We can only bow down to the true God, the God of the Israelites. Oh, well, you better. I want you to bow down tomorrow. And of course, they went home and they talked amongst themselves. So tomorrow, are we going to bow down? No, we will not bow down. Oh, no, something might happen to us. Well, we have to be brave. God will be with us. So the very next day, everyone gathered at 12 noon. And of course, at the sound of the trumpet, everyone bowed down, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So then King Nebuchadnezzar was furious. Hey, how dare you not bow down? <gasps> well, we can't. Do you know what's going to happen to you now? Nope. Guards, tie them up. Why? Where are you taking us? To the fiery furnace. So the guards tied them up. And they tied them really, 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 really tight. Yep, they couldn't get out. So then, King Nebuchadnezzar and his royal servants and soldiers gathered 
at the fiery furnace. O king, O king, one of them had said to King Nebuchadnezzar, whatever you do, we forgive you and we love you. God will take care of us. How dare you say that? See how hot the fiery furnace is? Even my own soldiers are getting burnt. Look at that, it's so hot. And it was true, it was so hot that some of the soldiers died and they were burnt by the flames. The heat alone, I mean the heat alone burnt them. Oh, so I'm gonna give you another chance to bow down, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No, we will not. To the fiery furnace. And of course, King Nebuchadnezzar threw them in and they were in the fiery furnace. Yes, but while they were in the fiery furnace, they prayed. And what's so amazing is that they were not burnt. Yeah, God had heard their prayers and also God was among them. Jesus was among them. Yes, he protected them. And of course, from outside, King Nebuchadnezzar said, wait a minute, wasn't there three in the furnace? Yes, of course, King Nebuchadnezzar, one of the servants said. Then King Nebuchadnezzar said, how come there are four? Oh, wow, let's see. One, two, three, four. And of course, King Nebuchadnezzar said, stop, stop, stop. Stop the furnace right now. Let them out. And of course, King Nebuchadnezzar let them all out. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego walked out of the fiery furnace. And King Nebuchadnezzar took a look at them. Whoa, you guys are not burnt. Wasn't there only three of you in the furnace? Yes, but God heard our prayers and Jesus Christ was with us. Wow, oh wow, your God is truly great. I will bow down and worship your God. I am so sorry for going against your God. Well, it's okay. Next time, always listen to the one true God. Yes, I will listen to the one true God from now on. All right, so there goes the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and the fiery furnace. All right, let's sing our song. <clears throat> Life without Jesus is like a donut, is like a donut, is like a donut. Life without Jesus is like a donut. There's a hole in the middle of your heart. All right, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, thank you for joining us for Children's Church. I hope you learned a valuable lesson from the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Remember, when someone tells you to do something, it may not be good, it can be bad. So be brave, just like the three friends. And also, if you're having trouble, just have a prayer and God will give you strength. Let's have a closing prayer, shall we? Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Help us to be brave when we are facing the things that we know that are wrong. May you give us strength, Lord. And thank you for the wonderful lessons today. Help us to enjoy the rest of the Sabbath. I pray all this in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. All right. God bless. Enjoy the rest of the Sabbath and take care. Bye-bye. Well, adventurers, I really enjoy watching you all singing the songs, doing the special music. It's such a blessing to see you, even if it's through video, okay? So we are all ready to go for lunch now. And before we go for lunch, I want to remind you, we are going to do our award classes starting at 1.30 p.m. So if you are already registered for our class, you need to be uh, logging into our Google Classroom. So ask your moms and dads to have you all ready to go 
for 1 p.m. on our Zoom class, but we are going to be uh, streaming our live, our, our class live as well through this platform. So even if you don't get a chance to be in the Zoom meeting, you're still able to watch our class live and participate that way. I hope your lunch is as good as mine and see you back at 1.30 p.m.